welcome to a very special Tarrant on CCTV, where we peep into the twilight world of the closed-circuit camera. Now, these days, tiny black-and-white security cameras go about their official business everywhere, but along the way are continually capturing the extraordinary and often downright shameful things people do when they don't think they're being watched. Could be in the street, could be in the shops, or even at work. The camera trained on this bowling alley attendant recorded his up-close and personal relationship with all the bowling shoes placed in his care. <laughs> and how he ensured they were beautifully clean for the next user. And you really don't want to know what he's stuck in the bowling balls. <laughs> if you go to the bowling alley, you'll have no trouble recognising that guy. He's the one with the tubby tummy, the receding hair and the verrucas on his tongue. <laughs> but more often than not, closed-circuit surveillance equipment is operating without the knowledge of the people who are caught on camera. They certainly wouldn't behave like this if they knew they were being watched. These chefs are preparing lunch in the kitchen of a small bistro. As well as slicing, dicing and peeling, they've created a new method of food preparation. Not the sort of spit that helps you roast. <laughs> Having splattered the mash on the walls, it's clearly a question of waits not, want not. <laughs> it's also a kitchen that likes to save on the washing up. Oh. Finally, a method of meat tenderising that you won't find in any cookbook. <laughs> the slow motion replay merely proves their skill at football is on a par with their talent for food preparation. But it seems that even out of the kitchen, your dinner's not safe. If you've ever phoned out for a pizza, prepare to be shocked. This delivery guy is about to unknowingly reveal the unpleasant extras that his personal service provides. He slips the pizza out of the satchel, takes a huge slice of pepperoni, then gives another piece the taste test with his tongue. <laughs> then all that's left is to straighten his hat and deliver the pizza. It's not just the pizza that wants topping. <laughs> the most important use for CCTV cameras is in the effective fight against crime. The footage does give courts the kind of clear-cut evidence that's impossible to refute. These days, if it's petty theft or grand larceny, the perpetrators are more likely to be captured on camera before they're caught by the cops. When the owner of this restaurant realised food was disappearing from his kitchen, he rigged up a hidden camera. The next day, the culprit was caught with her hand in the larder and the meat down her chest. <laughs> Big Brother was watching when this supermarket shoplifter tried to help himself from the frozen meat cabinet. Risking frostbite to the nipples, he packs his shirt and jacket with as much prime beef as possible, as well as lamb, more beef and more beef and more beef. <laughs> Finally, when he's run out of pockets, he plunges the prime pork down the front of his trousers. <laughs> this is not a demonstration of bad parking, rather a case of if you can't get to the cash machine, then you might as well get the cash machine to you. Here's the handiwork of an office cleaner. So called because he not only cleans up the office, he also cleans out the booze cabinet. <laughs> this chubby chap pocketing the loose change is in fact an American clerk of the court. It was only after someone in the Justice Department noticed that the revenue collected from motoring offences had dramatically dropped that a hidden camera was set up. When police raided his house, they discovered that over a short period of time, he trousered nearly half a million dollars in fines. <laughs> in the mortuary of an American hospital, this unscrupulous attendant has little respect for the deceased in his care or their property.
Having lifted a credit card, he very neatly puts back the wallet and rearranges the pocket as if nothing had happened. Meanwhile, when police set up a camera to monitor the garden of a woman who claimed her underwear was disappearing, this man, a local truck driver, was soon caught in the act of taking her knickers down from the washing line. Far too small for his own use, he apparently told the judge that he was hungry and thought they were edible. Oh, yes, of course he did. The woman in this store is being accused by the shopkeeper of stealing a box of chocolates, a charge she profoundly and indeed profanely refutes. The boyfriend then decides to keep the owner at bay by hurling trays of sweets. Exhausted supplies of confectionery, the man resorts to animal impressions. And all because the lady likes milk chocolates. <laughs> Mercifully, not all women are quite such foul-mouthed harridans. Others express their displeasure and exact their often terrible revenge in a much more subtle manner. Let this next montage of CCTV footage be a frightening and salutary lesson for all men. Here's a car parking nightmare most of us have experienced. As the woman prepares to back into her parking space, some less-than-chivalrous guy quickly sneaks in behind her and steals it. Less than pleased, she bravely gets out to confront him. Trying to look unperturbed, however, the guy merely slopes off to do his shopping, leaving the woman to find another space. Revenge, however, is sweet and a short time coming. The woman returns and ever so discreetly lets his tyres down. <laughs> Eventually, the man returns climbs into his car, starts the engine and, well, basically, gets what he deserves. <laughs> the waitress on the right of your picture was having a bad night thanks to a customer at one of her tables. Her friend, the barmaid, decides to help her get her own back. So the offending customer's next large scotch is laced with a couple of shots of something that definitely isn't sober. <laughs> when this lady was shopping for something to wear at an elegant society function, she thought she'd found the perfect dress. But her stunned reaction to the more than hefty price tag was, well, less than ladylike. Any camera discreetly placed high in the corner of an office witnessed the hideous drama unfold as this disgruntled secretary got more than even with her boss. Having been told in no uncertain terms to get him another hot drink, she actually takes out a used tampon and dips it in his mug. Then, after leaving it to stew for a couple of minutes, she drops the tampon in the waste bin before serving her boss his fresh hot coffee. All the women in the audience are applauding. <laughs> and all the folks are feeling really, really bad. Yes, it's a <laughs> delightful little item, which has very probably put you all off your warm, cosy bedtime drink altogether. Now, whereas the man featured in that clip must have had the most insensitive taste buds ever known to science, the cameramen at work on these next two items had the most insensitive taste. 
first, this amateur camera buff seems to specialise in people, well, in the buff. In fact, he can hardly hold the camera steady with one hand as his across-the-road neighbour starts cleaning her windows and dusting her blind. This really does bring new meaning to neighbourhood watch. <laughs> Meanwhile, this cameraman has more than a shot when he trained his lens on the new person next door, the sort of neighbour who can seriously bring down the value of all the property in the street. Even his pants are enough to make you want to move from the neighbourhood. <laughs> it does beg the question, who in their right mind flaunts a body like that at the window? And least of all, in underpants like that. Now, still to come on CCTV, the policeman you wouldn't want to upset, the washing machine mechanic you wouldn't let anywhere near your cold rinse, and the naked man you wouldn't want hanging about outside your bedroom window. All in a couple of minutes. See you after the break. <laughs> to Taryn on CCTV, our warts and all look at life as viewed through the lens of the closed circuit television camera. Now, most of the everyday cameras you see perched looking down over our streets not only serve as a deterrent to crime, but also help police in the detection of crime. Sometimes, however, it's the police themselves who are revealed as acting in a manner likely to cause a breach of the peace. If you rightly thought that looking after the safety of the public, especially women travelling on their own, is all part of a policeman's duty, then no one seems to have mentioned it to this completely out of control patrol man, recorded on his own in car camera. And in Georgia, this method of reading a suspect his rights does seem to have little in common with official procedure as laid down by law. In fact, this piece of incriminating videotape led to the immediate suspension of the policeman involved. Meanwhile, when the police aren't around, shopkeepers have to take their own measures against becoming the victims of crime. As this opportunist thief tries to snatch the goods, the owner hits a secret button which locks all the doors. And what the petty criminal doesn't know is that the entire shop front is made of toughened, unbreakable glass. Next, it's a quick call to the local constabulary. <laughs> The thief pleads with the owner to open the doors. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're on your way to jail. Despite his increasingly desperate efforts, the police eventually arrive to find the man still trapped in the shop. <laughs> They do say never confront a thief, advice this shopkeeper decided to ignore. <laughs> this man's career as a masked bank robber got off to an unsuccessful start when he forgot to actually put his mask on. <laughs> 
Well, this guy dragged the art of the failed heist down to hitherto unplumbed depths of gross stupidity. <laughs> These are the sort of men who quit the SAS because the balaclava is too itchy. <laughs> Bringing the names of armed and highly dangerous criminals into disrepute. But it's not just during a stick-up that villains find themselves in trouble. Burglars, too, can find themselves, well, stuck up. This burglar made his escape as far as the roof of the restaurant he was robbing. Unfortunately, he got himself jammed in a turn in the air vent. His terrible <laughs> screams woke neighbours who quickly called the fire brigade who just as quickly called the police. This cook-turned-crook tried to rob his own restaurant, but found himself wedged painfully inside a cooking duct. The squeeze was so tight he needed oxygen. He recovered and is now a cook in the local jail. <laughs> this overweight cat burglar had little trouble breaking into a restaurant. His problem started when he tried to escape back out through a window and found himself stuck fast. After two hours' work with a hacksaw and a generous coating of cooking oil, the fireman finally managed to slide him out of the frame and into the handcuffs. <laughs> Probably the only burglar ever to be caught breaking and exiting. Now, something we've clearly confirmed so far from the closed-circuit footage we've seen tonight, whatever you are and wherever you go, the cameras can always see you. And on the subject of wherever you go... CCTV caught this in-store Santa sneaking out for a quick cigarette. Having satisfied his craving for nicotine, the call of nature came upon him so quickly he then felt the need to relieve himself against the wall of the shop. Then the man who put the grot in grotto went back to dole out gifts with unwashed hands. <laughs> this amateur video maker was trying to set up cameras to record, for reasons best not even thought about, everything that goes on in a lady's lavatory. Being a perfectionist sort of pervert, he fiddles with the angles and conducts any number of dress rehearsals to make sure that he's getting the right shots. Fortunately, the only person caught bending over the loo was himself, spotted by a passing security guard. This washing machine mechanic was obviously caught very short, as he has to relieve himself in the homeowner's kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> Completely oblivious to what's just happened, the homeowner checks that the mechanic's OK. Once she's gone, he rushes back to the sink to resume his unfinished business. <laughs> if you think an innocent-looking laundry room is hardly the place to need security camera coverage, then you couldn't be more wrong. This innocent resident is here to do his weekly wash, so he chooses his machine, loads it full of laundry, pours in the detergent and leaves. Soon after, another resident with a grudge suspiciously enters the room. Finding the machine his neighbour's using, he takes their ongoing feud to a much more unpleasant level. <laughs> Slipping his jeans and pants down, he uses the machine as a lavatory. <laughs> Finished, he needs something to use as toilet paper. A wet t shirt from his neighbour's laundry. <laughs> no. <laughs> One of the most convincing arguments for staying friends with the neighbours I think I've ever seen. Even now, people do seem to be completely oblivious to the fact that their indiscretions, either deliberate or innocent, will be captured on camera somehow by someone. This young couple were playing with a new video camera when they heard a splash in their backyard pool. Oh, what's that? Oh, my God, that's a What? Hey! What are you doing? The second big surprise was that the man taking a dip was totally naked. And despite his bare-faced cheek and hasty exit along the side of the house, the illicit swimmer proved to be their neighbour. <laughs> but if you've ever wondered what some of the security men who actually control CCTV cameras get up to, as they go about their business of vigilance and protection, here are several eye-opening examples.
However, the cameras were right on track when they zoomed in on this casino prostitute who was quickly busted on the job. <laughs> Many taxis in New York City are now fitted with CCTV for the protection of the passengers and the driver. These two women, on their way to a birthday celebration, clearly wanted to start the party before they'd even arrived. <laughs> High up on this apartment block, a naked man was videoed dangling precariously outside. It turned out that his lover's husband arrived back rather earlier than expected. <laughs> but the mistress seems less worried about getting caught and more about getting him to put some clothes on. <laughs> If we've learned anything from tonight's clips, it's the fact that whatever you do and wherever you happen to be doing it at the time, it's likely there's someone watching you on a CCTV camera. So be careful out there and keep yourself to yourself. We'll leave you with the recorded telephone conversation between a hotel night manager and the local police. Now, it concerns a guest who's been caught literally doing something he'd really rather the rest of us didn't know about. You don't actually see anything but the emergency phone call more than tells the whole story. Night, night. This is Harmon Davis from the Scottish Inn. Can I have a police car come over here? This is who? Harmon Davis from the Scottish Inn. Uh-huh. Can I have a squad car come over here? This is something you got to see. This is unbelievable. The Scottish Inn? Yes. What's your telephone number there? 687-2530. And what's the problem there? I got a man in the pool. He's got his private stuck in the...